So the next exception to the idea that equity will not assist a volunteer is uh, the re-rose rule. And the re-rose rule is also called the every effort rule. And the very the very basic idea of it is that if the person who means to give makes absolutely every effort they can and does everything they can to give something over, then equity will say that it has been given over. Importantly about re-rows when you're reading it that you have to remember is that re-rows isn't actually about whether or not the legal interest was transferred properly. Uh, it's about when the legal interest was transferred properly uh, because for, ta- for tax reasons, essentially, there was, uh, there was a difference. The person who meant to give it over, when she gave the shares, I think, to a relative, uh, it was, I think, the May. And then by the time that they had been entered into the company, le- the company ledger to say that these shares had been given, uh, I think it was sometime in the autumn, and there had been a change in tax legislation. And so the question was, well, was it given over when the giver, the, the original shareholder gave it, or was it given over it, as far as the law was concerned when it was entered in the company register and the shares were officially considered to be uh, the Donny's shares? So that was what actually happened in, in Re Rosa. And what they said is it's when the donor made every effort to give the shares over. Once that they once they had done everything and they couldn't take it back, then it, the shares, as far as the law were concerned, belonged to the person that they had been given to. Uh, and, and fortuitously, in this case, that meant that there was quite a lot less tax to be paid uh, on the shares. So if we go back to my painting, I just want you to remember this. Uh, if we go back to my painting, and let's say I want to give it to my, my nephew, but again, I'm a very rich person. I'm not. Um, but it's hung on the wall of, let's say, a gallery. And let's say it's hung in a public gallery. And so maybe the gallery are paying me rent or, or maybe I'm, I have it there because I, I want it to be restored. Or maybe I just want the public to be uh, suitably edified by my art collection. But I, I say to the gallery, I've given this painting to my nephew. Um, please, can you, instead of when you're done with it, when you're done with your display, please, can you, when you pack it up, instead of bringing it back to my house, can you please bring it to my nephew? It's his painting now. Um, please, can you you give it over? And let's say the gallery don't do it. Maybe there's a mistake. Maybe they forget to, to deliver it and I die in the meantime. Uh, and so it's it's not going to be delivered back to me. This is an example where perhaps the rule in re-rose could apply. My nephew could go to the court and say, well, she meant to give it over and she told the gallery to give it over and maybe she signed over all the paperwork to tell the gallery or she signed a waiver to say that, yes, this can be delivered to my nephew. Um, and yes, I never actually took possession of the painting, but it's still mine and it doesn't, let's say, perhaps if it, if it was mine when I died, there might be tax to pay for my estate. Um, but he could say, well, no, there's there's no tax to pay because it was mine before she died. Um, to avoid tax entirely, it might have to be quite a long time before they died. There's actually a seven year rule. Uh, but in terms of the, the rule in Brie Rose, um, it's an example that I made every effort that I could make to give the painting over to my nephew. And I did it in good faith. And there was a third party that didn't do everything that they were meant to do to give it over. And so my nephew can say, equity needs to get involved here. This is my painting.